Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Today I'm here with the prophetic dream. In this dream, I was um, in my childhood neighborhood um, at my childhood apartment, but my mom was not there. There was another woman that was there and there were other children that were present. It was like me, and I will say about five other kids, one of which being my son, okay? Um, and oddly enough, one other thing that God is telling me to add, like in this dream, it felt like I was in a position of being a child, okay? Obviously, well, I'm not gonna say obviously, but I didn't have my son until I was um, 23, I was an adult. But in this dream, I was like a teenager and I had a child, okay? And me and my child were staying with someone who was not my mother. Um, anywho, while I was staying here, I felt like um, I wasn't being treated the way I would like to be treated. I felt like I was being controlled. And um, I wanted my son to sleep in the bed with me. But she was making um, him sleep in the room with her. Um, and I kind of had to sleep by myself and eventually I just, but like, I, I just owned myself. It's kind of like I stepped into my power and me stepping into my power was me basically being myself and, um, through me being myself and just, you know, letting go of trying to control the situation. I ended up making a friend that I wasn't expecting to make. Okay. The scripture comes from Psalm 119 and 33. Teach me, Lord, the way of your decrees that I may follow it to the end. Give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. Turn my heart towards your statues and not towards selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Fulfill your promise to your servant so that you may be feared. Take away the disgrace I dread, for your laws are good. How I long for your precepts and your righteousness preserve my life. Okay, so this is a message to somebody. Um, you may be in this situation. I'm not sure if this is for someone who is a teenager and you may have a child or if this is a young adult with a child. I don't know if it's a situation where um, this is someone that may be living in a foster home or if this is someone who may have been adopted or someone who may be living in a shelter, something like that. Um, and you're basically feeling as though you yourself don't have control of your own life. You feel like um, your life is basically just out of your hands right now. You have no control. And, you know, I can understand how that can feel. Um, there have been situations in my life and times in my life where I felt like I was not in control of my life. And um, basically, God is sending me to tell you that even though you feel like you have no control over how your life is turning out, how things in your life are turning out, um, what's going on around you. God is saying that he is in control, okay? Um, even though it may seem as though everything is falling apart, God is saying that everything will fall into place as soon as you let go of trying to control the narrative. The plan that you have is not going to work. Let go of the plan that you have. Let go of um, this wishing and this wanting to control how everything turns out for you. Um, understand that what God has for you is bigger and better than what you could possibly imagine or whatever it is that you may have in your mind for yourself. Um, and God is saying, don't, um, don't sell yourself short because you may be thinking that like the bare minimum in your eyes right now is okay. And God is saying that he has more for you than the bare minimum. You are worth more than that. You're, um, you're greater than that. You're better than that. Whatever it is that you are wanting for yourself, you're better than that. And what God has for you 
that you will receive through literally just letting go of wanting to control the situation. You are not in control of it. God said he has taken control of the situation. He has placed whomever um, in the position that they are in and they are doing what he has asked them to do. And sometimes it may feel as though he's not or sometimes it may feel as though they are not um, going by God's orders and you know you know I hear God saying like how do you know what his order for your life is um, it could possibly be a situation where you just want to go out and party all night and God is like no you need to sit down and you need to chill it could be a situation where you may want to be able to do um, all kinds of things that God doesn't want you to do anyways um, you know sometimes we make ourselves believe that following God's commands or commandments are it's such a difficult thing it's so hard but in reality it's really not and um the only time that you would think to yourself that you are scared or you're nervous about the fact that God is watching you 24 7 all the time is if you are trying to do something that you know you're not supposed to do because otherwise um, regardless to what you're doing, God sees, he knows, and he's not, you know, he's not going to, how do I say it? Like, he's not going to be super picky, but at the same time, um, you know, you know, right from wrong, you know what you are and are not supposed to be doing, and, um, you should also know, if you don't, that God loves you very much, and, Everything that's happening right now is happening for your good, for your betterment, okay? That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Jesus.